Hey guys, welcome to the day two of Aura's tour in Egypt. My sleep was okay. I'd say it's pretty short because I only had about four hours of sleep, but it was a little bit noisy outside and it was a little bit cold. I didn't think I'd be feeling cold in Egypt. Anyway, let's go start the rest of the day and see what the West Bank of Luxor is like. So here we are. Today I have with me Mr. Thomas, Hello. my tour guide, uh -huh. and Mr. Ivan, our Hello. driver. Hello. Let's see what we see when we get there. Our first stop is the two colossi of Memnon. This is our second stop. We're going to the Valley of the Kings now. So I'm going to go visit my first tomb, the tomb of King Merhembeta, and let's go see what it's like inside. I feel just incredible to be here right now in an Egyptian tomb. Like, I've been dreaming about this since I was small, actually, to be in this beautiful, amazing place. And I cannot tell you how crazy amazing do I feel right now. <laughs> Look at this place. Look at the hieroglyphics. They're just amazing. These are things that I just saw on TV or in books. And now I'm seeing them for real and it's just, wow, <laughs> it's blowing my mind right now. The whole corridor, the whole passageway is covered by hieroglyphics and paintings. It's so beautiful. So I got asked while I was in there a lot by other tourists how am I taking a camera inside here but let me just show you if you buy this ticket videography and photography allowed if you buy that ticket that means you can take your camera otherwise you're not allowed to take your camera but if you buy a ticket for your camera you can take it just like I did so now I'm going to go inside to the tomb of the famous Tutankhamen. So if you want to go to this tomb, you need to buy a separate ticket to go to Tutankhamen tomb. So guys, I've just been inside the tomb of King Tutankhamen. Unfortunately, you cannot take cameras inside there. Um, it is not allowed to take photos or videos from camera. You can take photos from your mobile phone, but still, you're not allowed to take photos of the mummy itself. But it's there. That sarcophagus is not there. This beautiful sarcophagus is not there. But the mummy actually is in there. Oh my god, that was incredible. I cannot believe that I actually just went there and saw the mummy of King Tut. That's crazy! Oh my god, I love this trip. I am so glad that I came on this trip. And this is nice. Hello, sir. Welcome. Thank you, welcome, thank you. Just look at this. 
incredible feeling. So this is the tone of Ramses 9 and as you can see there is where the sarcophagus used to be but now it's been relocated to the Cairo Museum so it's not there but you can see the incredibly beautiful tomb of it. It's okay, sir. It's okay. Thank you. No, it's okay. One of the things that usually happen is this. these guys that ask to help you take photos. They help you, that's fine. But they also want money from you. So everywhere, every single tomb that I went to, they are helping me take photos. But then they come and ask for money and right now my pocket is empty by giving them all that I had. These are the original colors that these two had. They haven't been restored or painted over so these are the original colors. Can you see how incredibly beautiful they are? Just by Hummer. Yeah. yeah. Say wow. Okay. If it's nice, say wow. If it's not nice, <laughs> say wow. Say wow. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. Ooh, Twenty percent discount. Say wow with discount. One, two, three. Old. Wow. Fifty percent discount. <laughs> right. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Hundred percent discount. <laughs> But not to me. Not to me. We need the money to me. Hey guys, so I am at the temple of Queen Hachetsu, the queen that announced herself as a pharaoh. And if you're having difficulty saying that name Hachetsu, just remember hot chicken soup. <laughs> that's left from the original trees that were here. So here is the incredible temple of Queen and her story is there carved it's been destroyed a little bit all the time but the story is there carved onto the side Hi everyone, so right now we are at the temple of Madina Tabu or King Ramses III. You see that window up there? That's where the king used to stand and address his workers down here, down below, from up there.
lonely Nile and we are going to go to a small island called Banana Island and we will go see the banana farmers and monkeys, crocodiles, horses, everything on this little island. Banana Island! Hey guys, I'm back in the hostel. This is the end of day two. So what are my thoughts at the end of today? It was good. I really, really liked the Valley of the Kings. It was amazing. Uh, the temple of Hachetsu, Queen Hachetsu. It was amazing as well. But I think my favorite part was the Palace of Kim Ramses III, that palace that I went at the very end. To me, that was gorgeous. That was so beautiful. The deep carvings in the pillars, in the walls, they were just absolutely breathtaking. To be honest, I was exhausted at that point and I wish that I had more time there. To me, that was like so pretty, so stunning. And there are so many nice places that you can take photos of, by the way. Anywhere you go, if somebody is trying to help you take photos, they're probably expecting a tip from you. Learn my lesson. I think the probably the first two or three times, I probably gave them way too much money because I didn't know how much I need to give them. I was told that like 10 Egyptian pounds would be enough. Yeah, let's just say I gave them way too much. Just keep that in mind. We went to this little island called Banana Island. It's supposed to be this farmer's island. They grow banana, they grow oranges, all sorts of agricultural plants there. And they have like a few animals. I wanted to go see there because I thought the monkeys are just running around freely and the other animals are just running around freely, which was not the case. They were just in cages. Honestly, I could have done without that part, but the island is in the middle of the Nile River. That little boat ride up to the island was nice and on the way back it was the sun was setting so that was pretty. Yeah, we had bananas and tea there. So for that, boat ride, banana tea and just walk around the little island. It was $37. To be honest, to me, this banana island was not really that special. Me being Asian, me being Sri Lankan, like I've seen plenty of banana trees. Although by the time I came out, it was packed with tourists. So I don't really know what they're doing there. But hey, if you haven't seen banana trees, maybe you should try that, go see that. But could I do without it? Yeah. Could I have saved that $37? Probably, yes. So today I had Samuel with me, the Egyptologist, and then the driver, Ayman. I booked them because of course I have no knowledge of these places, so I want to learn something about them. But tomorrow, unfortunately, I'm on my own. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the East Bank by myself. The reason why I didn't take the tour guide tomorrow as well is because of course it's expensive to take a tour guide. I mean, I'm not gonna learn much, but at least I'll go see them. So yeah, the cheaper way for you to do Egypt is don't pick a tour guide, just go on your own. Just get a taxi and just go with the taxi around. Yeah guys, so that's the end of day two. Yeah, thanks for joining with me and please follow me through my journey of Egypt. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video where we go to explore the East Bank of Luxor. See you next time.